As many as 15% of women who have had a baby suffer from postpartum depression or PPD. Now, researchers at UNC are trying to figure out the cause behind it and also how to prevent it. Their method is social media. CBS North Carolina's Megan Newland shows us why the PPD Act app is what's next. Born. Michelle Schoper's son's first moments are well documented. His birth anxiously awaited. I wanted to be a mom for so long and we tried um, for a long time to have him. Despite a difficult labor and a stay in the NICU, Michelle says life with a newborn went well at the beginning. Several months in, it became more difficult. You feel so much gratitude for having them, but at the same time, you're like, what am I doing wrong? You know, why is this so hard? At first, she attributed her feelings to lack of sleep from working overnights and dealing with a colicky baby. But later, she sought help for postpartum depression. It's just like a constant weight on your shoulders. With medication and counseling, Michelle recovered. And when a notice about a UNC-led study on postpartum depression popped up on her Facebook feed, she wanted to help. The big picture goal is to understand what causes this. Dr. Samantha Meltzer Brody is the director of the perinatal psychiatry program at UNC. She's working with researchers across the world looking for a genetic or biological cause for postpartum depression. We needed to figure out a novel way of doing this. They turned to smartphones and social media, asking any woman who's ever experienced PPD symptoms to download an app and answer a questionnaire. Some are then asked to mail in a sample of saliva. If we can understand the genetic signature, if we can understand the underlying biology, then we can ideally figure out ways to identify prospectively ahead of time who would be at risk. Then they could potentially prevent the condition or treat it before it becomes severe. That's what Michelle's doing now that she's pregnant again. She's already getting counseling, hoping to avoid another bout with postpartum depression. It was a very, very dark place in my life. Um, so I'm, I'm doing everything that I can to, to prevent it. For What's Next, Maggie Newland, CBS North Carolina. Researchers hope to get responses from 50,000 people across the world. And if you'd like to find out more, we have a link on our website. Just go to WNCN.com.